In this video, we show you some of the new V-Ray RT workflows available in Modo. By default, the Select Items and Select Materials options are enabled in the V-Ray VFB. This means that you can left-click and select any item and its material directly in the VFB window, making it very fast and easy to adjust its properties. You can see when I select an item in the VFB, that item is highlighted in the item list and its material is highlighted in the shader tree. This works for any piece of geometry or other item types in our render. Another possible workflow allows us to change our camera's focus and shutter speed. I'll start off with this underexposed render in the VFB and we can easily change the shutter speed of our V-Ray physical camera by holding down the control key and scrolling up and down with the wheel on our mouse. We can reduce the exposure even more or brighten it up while V-Ray RT continues to update our render. To set the focus point for our camera, I can hold down Control Shift and click with the left mouse button. Clicking the light fixtures in the top right of my render image will set the focus distance to just under two meters, as indicated by the text overlay. To make this more apparent, I will adjust the defocus amount, meaning how much of my render will be in and out of focus from the distance I just set. To do this, I need to hold down Control and Shift and use the mouse wheel. Just like in real world photography, the lower the f-stop number, the shallower my depth of field will be. Now that that's set, I can Control Shift click the chair to change that to the new focus point, throwing the lamp fixture and the foreground out of focus. If I set the focus to the envelopes on the ground, the top of the chair will be slightly out of focus and the light fixture will be even more out of focus than before. The Enhance Region tool is used to refine a specific area in the VFB of our RT renders. We can zoom into an area of our render in the VFB and click on the Enhance Visible button to focus our rendering just on what's seen in the view. I like that view so I can save it, which creates a bookmark so I can easily jump back to that region again. Clicking the Enhancing Enabled button turns off the tool so we can get back to the original render view. This time, I'll use the Render Region tool in the VFB, then click on the Enhance Render Region option. This snaps the view of the VFB to that area and focuses the ray trace calculations within that space. The Saved Regions area of the tool is set per camera, so switching to a different camera in our scene allows us to save a completely new series of regions. So, picking this other camera, I can zoom into a new area, enhance that, and create another bookmark for that camera and region. Just like before, we can pick the bridge object from our RT render in the VFB and change the diffuse color of the bridge red material assigned to it to something like dark green. Note that you can freely switch between cameras and between enhanced render regions while RT is still running, making it easy to see the effect a material change has on other parts of your scene. Deleting a region just removes that saved bookmark from the list of enhanced regions for that particular camera. We can also right click on the RT render in the VFB and choose enhance the visible part of our render or the render region from the menu. Like with our other scenes and renders, we can left click in the VFB to pick objects in our scene and have them selected in the item list and their materials highlighted in the shader tree. Adjusting properties is easy and those changes are updated right away in our render. Next, I will select another area of my render to have a different material picked in the tree. Now I can use the V-Ray Texture Isolate tool to focus the refinement of my render to just the texture I have selected in the shader tree. This is extremely useful on areas where we have multiple textures blended together. We can focus on one texture at a time and see its contribution to the larger stack of textures. We hope these workflows in Modo using V-Ray RT will help you increase your productivity and allow you to focus on being creative with great tools to support you in that process.